<sighs> hey guys, welcome back. So today we have one of our big scalloped edge uh, silicone mold that we got from BB Craft. And you know what? I figured I'd try to make something colorful and pretty. So what I have here is three ounces of my Fooey Tim One to One resin that I have run through the airless and it's just got a couple of little, you know, residual teeny tiny bubbles on the top here. So I'm just kind of letting those sit and uh, get rid of themselves. So let me kind of explain what I want to do. I've got a bunch of my About Alcohol inks here in various shades of purple and blue. Uh, so I've got purple, sky blue, violet, blue and sapphire and I was just you know just thought that they would go nice together uh, so I'm also going to be using my Illumilite white uh, pigment paste and I'm going to be spiking that if you will with my um, homemade uh, feather boa sparkle sauce so basically rainbow alcohol ink. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So I figured we'd just make something pretty and, you know, cute today. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take most of the white, and I did let it get up to about 35 and a half degrees Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and pour most of it, and looks like I've got about half an ounce left, so that's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and drop my colors, but first, I'm just going to blow off some bubbles here. And you know, just to be on the safe side, I think what I'm going to do is take my Pokey Tool of Choice. And just to go around the outside of the mold and try to dislodge any bubbles that may want to be there because if you're familiar with resin you know bubbles love right corners and if you're not familiar with resin bubbles love right corners <laughs> so it's always best to go around and try to dislodge any bubbles that may have found themselves clinging to your mold. Now, theoretically, you could also, before you poured your resin, spray your mold with alcohol if you wanted to, but I don't like to do that because uh, the alcohol tends to mess with the pattern of the alcohol ink um, when you drop it in there, so I just kind of want to avoid that. Let's go over with Tiny Torch. Get rid of some of those auxiliary bubbles that are there. And now, now she says, I'm going to go with the lightest color of blue in the middle. So there we go. Now, with our remaining clear, I'm going to add, and you probably won't be able to see me do it because it's right here, right, right over here. Uh, since I've only got half an ounce of resin, I'm only going to add one drop, small drop, of my Illumilite. And then one, two, three, four, five drops of my rainbow alcohol ink. I'll just get that mixed up. Yeah. 
the reason I'm adding uh, the alcohol ink to the pigment paste is because sometimes pigment paste can be too heavy and it will cause your white to just sink and I don't want it to. Um, if it does a little bit, okay, sometimes that can turn out cool. But if it sinks a lot, I really don't want it to. So that looks pretty good. So while our colors are calming down and settling into their resiny home, I'm just putting away my alcohol inks. Sorry for the noise. Alright, so I'm going to take my stick out and switch tools to my pokey stick of choice. And then we're going to go in with said pokey tool and just start making little designs. Come here. I forgot to move my high tech mess mitigation device. Try not to blend colors into the white too much, but if they do a little bit, that's okay. And then in the middle, just give it a little swirl. Okay. So that's that. Good. So, enjoy the time lapse. told you math isn't my thing. Uh, two ounces of my Pooey Tim Wonder One. And in this, I'm going to use, I received the most beautiful gift from Mrs. Lisa Crow. I'm going to link her in the description box. Um, she's an amazing crafter. She's an amazing artist. Um, and she makes her own uh, mica flakes, colored mica flakes. And she sent me the most beautiful colors. There's these sort of orangey, goldy colors. There's there's these uh, purple and pink and greens and blues and everything that are just stunning. Um, gosh, where's the other color that she sent me? There they are. And these are the bronze ones that she made. Aren't these just stunning? I just love them. Um, so I'm going to be using some of these um, with my background. So I'm going to take some of these gold ones because I figured... It would nicely offset the blues and purples. Um, so I'm just going to scatter some of these in my resin. Gosh, these colors are just 
I mean, it's gold and orange and bronze and just these stunning, stunning colors that I'm just in love with. And then also to those, as a complementary color, I'm going to be using my Renfeo Mica Flakes in Moss. And they're just a lovely, lovely green color. And so I am going to put some of those in there as well. So let's go ahead and do some mixing of beauty. Mixing of beautiful colors, beautiful mica flakes. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And now, of course, mica flakes are heavier than the resin. Not by much, but they are. So most likely what these will do is they will sink uh, to the bottom of this, but that's okay because this is the back. And I love the way that the pattern's turned down on this. I'm sorry, I apologize. I have the hiccup, so if you hear me, you know, meeping. Um, I love the way that the patterns and everything turned down on this. It's just, it, it just turned out really neat. So look at these. Look at these colors. Look at these flakes. Yes, please. Give me all of the pretty colors. But since I used, you know, the blues and purples, I figured the, again, I figured the golds and the greens would um, complement them beautifully. So, man, I need more of these orange. Lisa, I need more orange. <laughs> Let me know what your PayPal is. Uh, yeah, these are, these are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So, I'm gonna go in and just start pouring around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Because the resin will find its way into the middle. That way I know all my quote-unquote corners are covered. And I am scraping out every single flake out of this, <laughs> out of this cup. I don't want to waste one. So, oh, I see you hiding in there. I see you I'm trying to be stealthy. All right. So these oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. The white chain and equals. Oh my bad word. Those are just so pretty. And I kind of want to maneuver them more towards the outside just because that's where the majority of the cleared spaces. So I'm just going to, you know, give them a little persuasion. All right, so that's done. I'm gonna clean off my stick. And then, she says, I'm going to go in with my 99% and my continuous spray bottle. Ooh, the beans. And then we are going to let this cure. Just going to clean up the edges. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this cure, and I will see you guys for the demold. See you soon. All right, it's time to demold. First off, I would just like to take a moment to appreciate the shininess of this resin. I mean, see, this is my camera. And if I tilt it towards me, 
Hello. No, I look terrible. It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning. What do you want? But, second of all, these colors, though, oh, those flakes with that alcohol ink, I'm in love. All right, so enough faffing about time to, time to get stuff done. I'm really anxious to see how this looks on the other side. because it's easier to see the color sometimes. Then we'll look at it on the black one. All right, enough. All right, one, two, three. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, wow, I really, really like that with the different colors. I'm going to take the background and see. Oh, it even looks good on black. Sorry, ring light. Oh, that is so pretty. That's just gorgeous. I just love it. I love the fact that you can. it's still semi-transparent. Mostly transparent, transparent like, transparent esque. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So, again, thank you, Lisa, for these amazing, stunning flakes. And thank you guys for being here to share it with me. This ugh, gorgeous, gorgeousness that I've been lucky enough to get out of this. I'm going to turn off the light and see. Well, it's just, oh, that's very blue. Oh, pretty. Just changing lighting to see what difference it makes. Hmm. Meh, not much. <laughs> At any rate, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers. <laughs>